Good evening, wonderful family. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I want to share with us how you, what you can do, okay, to stop any form of attack going on in your life, in your family, and in your neighborhood, okay? There are people that complain of different kinds of attacks, different kinds of bad dreams, different kinds of evil attacks or evil activities going on in their families or in their homes every night, okay? I've made so many videos on how to combat spiritual attacks. They're all on the channel. I've done the one with Prekese. I've done the one of cinnamon and the cloves, okay? So today, I want to share with us how you can use this incense, okay, to stop evil attacks in your home, okay? I will tell us the time, the preferred time to do this and how to do it, okay? But before I go right into the video, if you're new to the channel, please kindly hit the subscribe button, share my videos, like my videos. If you have any comments, please do not hesitate to drop it under the comment section. And if you have been with me all this while, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate, okay? Yes. And I will never take your precious love for granted, okay? So what you are going to do, if you're the type that always see yourself struggling in the dream, eating in the dream, swimming in the dream, always fighting in the dream, okay? Seeing masquerades, seeing black cats, seeing dogs, okay? Seeing yourself always dragging things with old people or dead people, okay? There's a very simple thing you can do, okay? Please do not look at my eyes. <laughs> I was awake all throughout yesterday night. Please, sorry, my eyes is very dull. Like I know I'm very down. Okay, so what you're going to do when you have any of these dreams or any of the similar dreams, okay, that is scary. Some people will tell me that they saw their old mother in the dream trying to kill them, pushing them with cutlass, you know, saying all sorts of evil things to them. Or you see a friend of yours trying to kill you in the dream, trying to attack you in the dream, or you live in a compound that is known for witchcraft, you don't have money to pack out. I want to teach us a very simple technique to fight those people without having a physical combat with them or without them knowing. They'll just be surprised that they cannot assess you again. They cannot harm you again. You are not uh, untouchable. Okay? Yes, what you are going to do for me Get me an incense. This is an incense. I've made so many videos on incense. Okay, they're all on the channel. This is an incense. This is a frankincense. Okay. And this is the stick one. Okay, stick incense. It's sold in the spiritual uh, store. For those that is outside the country or where they cannot access it, you can contact me. I have for sale. Okay, so what you're going to do Get your incense stand. You can see my own incense stand. Okay. Get yours. Just get a drop. Put charcoal. Put it on fire. Okay. Just drop it this way. Okay. Just drop it this way. And cover it. Okay. Yes. When you cover, you see the smoke will start coming out. As you can see, this smoke is very powerful, okay? Yes. I want to inhale it. That is why I'm making this video. It gives me strength, okay? Whenever I do a very strong spiritual work like this, I like inhaling this. I like using this to cleanse myself, to cleanse my environment, okay? I'm going to take it around my house, okay? Yes. I want to inhale it. It's going to give me more strength. And to help me fight any kind of attack I may get after doing that work. Okay? Yes. So this is how you're going to... But please note, if you are asthmatic or you have any health issues that you're not supposed to inhale smoke, please do not follow me. Okay? Do not do this remedy, please. Just take it around your house this way. The Catholics here will understand what I'm doing. They know how they use this very well. Okay? 
This is very, very powerful to combat any kind of attack, any kind of spiritual attack. Okay, just take it around your house this way. Okay, take it around your house. Even yourself, use it to cleanse yourself. As you can see me, I'm using it to cleanse myself. So take it around your body. Take it around your house. Every corner of your house, just take it around. Okay, for those that say they don't have this kind of incense stand, you can get the stainless place like this. Put it, uh, put charcoal, and drop the incense inside it. It's going to still bring out this kind of smoke. Take it around your house. Okay, take it around your body. Okay, yes, you can see me doing it. See. Okay, and as you're doing it, you tell God Almighty to remove any kind of negative energy in your home. Any kind of spiritual attack, okay, any witchcraft attack, any monitoring spirit, as the smoke is going and let it cover their eyes, let it blind them, okay? They will no longer see you and any member of your family. You will remain untouchable, okay, by their activities. Anywhere they mention your name, let this fire come and attack them, okay? Yes. Then, if you want to do this thing to get the exact thing you want, do it before you go to bed. Take it around your house, okay? If you cannot do it by that time, exactly 12 a.m. or 1 a.m., just light this thing and take it around your house. If you're the type that sees strange things in your house every night, by 1 a.m., you do this, take it around your house, the entrances of your door, of your house, the door, the windows, and all that. Just take it around. I don't I didn't say you should go outside your house, just inside your house. When you get to the door of your house, you take it around this way. You go to the windows, you take it around. Let the smoke cover the window, cover the doors, and every part of your room. You see that those attacks, those demons that come to attack you every night, you will no longer see them. They will take off. Okay. If you're the type that you're living in, in a compound. That the landlord or a co tenant is a witch or a wizard. By the time you do this for a day, you see the person taking off. The person will pack out of that house for your sake. If it's the landlord, he's going to tell you to move, that your power is stronger than his own. Just do it every night. This is an, just one, one of it like this. You can see what I dropped. If you cannot get the stick one, this, one, this Frankenstein is enough. Just drop a seed of it inside the burning fire. You can see the smoke. The smoke is too much. Okay, just one stick that I dropped. Okay, so these are little things you can do to free yourself from unnecessary attacks. Okay, do it by the grace of God. You must have reasons to glorify on His name. You will not experience those evil attacks you experience. Okay, by the grace of God, this is going to stop any form of bad dreams you have. Okay, thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in my next video. Good night.